Hello and welcome to another video. So this is how far I got with yesterday's painting. Um, can't remember how far I got when I last told you about it. I think I'd just done the mat on this bit. Anyway, as you can see, I painted some more. I did the white bit here using the paints <coughs> that my friend Jasmine gave me on Wednesday. Um, this is supposed to be foliage coming through. I'm going to have to add a bit to it to make it, it look a bit better. Maybe a bit of white down here and a bit of yellow here, like leaves and stuff. And um, the lighter parts really aren't as light as they should be. I'll have a um, raw white up here as well. I'll have a good go at that when I come to carry on. And I don't know when that will be yet. Um, so then I started on the flowers. I did them all in, I think it was vermilion. And I added some white for this bit to make it lighter. And I used some more of the green that Yasmin gave me, some lighter green for the apple. And this, I did, I did some white to it to make it lighter. I did this first when I was doing, well, when I was doing this, I did this. I did all the reds at first, <laughs> then I did the greens. <coughs> and so now, <clears throat> um, I'm ready to do some more of it. Um, let's have a look at the photograph. There needs to be more darker areas in the flowers. And some green here. And some green here. And some more white here. This brown here. Um, lighten this up and add bits to it like I said before. Then paint in the window frames, try and make them look uh, straight. <sighs> Is there a reflection of the window shining on the photograph? I turn it so there's no reflection, that's better. I'm feeling very tired today, I've just been downtown. But, uh, and I'll do the vase. Quite a bit to do on it yet. Lots of details to add and adjust. The apple looks like it's been painted. We want it to look smooth. I'll try and try and do that and make it look smooth. Yeah, and also that the edges have been painted as well. There. There's a bit of a gap there, I have to fill that in. <laughs> um, I remember I painted the bottom and then turned it upside down to, when it went to let it dry. To get some in that little gap there as well. I bought some more canvases today, but I'll tell you about that in the next video. Um, so that's how far I've got with it. I was going to do a watercolour painting for the London Art class, and I was going to use these pans, but I found out that I hadn't got the right colours in it, and they were a bit wishy-washy. So I'm going to use tubes. I'm going to get them out of there sometime, not today, I'm too tired, but sometime, <laughs> I thought that that little canvas was attached to that, but it doesn't, it comes off. Um, oh, <laughs> look how that's, <laughs> um, a little easel, I think it's, um, ooh, I think it's a uh, practical 
diesel. I think you can find it with it. Right. <laughs> anyway. That's so far I've got. So that's the end of this video then. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.